the fosters that we have right now, amazing people. Um, obviously, we've met before, and they they they're giving up so much of their time and energy to give back to our, our our veterans. That's one of the stipulations, though, with with our dog with these foster puppies is that they have to go to a veteran. With Shannon and and Charles, they're just dog lovers. Period. Um, and um, with speaking with Shannon, she has her own service dog, service dog through us. Uh, he is certified um, just recently. Um, and I think because for her, it had benefited her so much that um, she just wanted to give back. So I think that's part of it. Meet Charles and Shannon. They are voluntarily fostering and training Aries for six months before he is gifted to a local military veteran. We've always been the people that like if dog needs help, we'll just take it without asking. You know, like... We're suckers for animals yeah. in need. This is this will be the first second, second one, one that, that we rescued. we've rescued that we've given to a uh, forever home. Yeah. Um, the rest of them we keep. Yeah. <laughs> we've keep we've Four kept them. Um, two, two now. now. Um, I think that's that's good for now. That's good. I'm getting posted at the Cold Lake, so. Shannon appreciates the help a service dog has offered her. She explains how donating a trained service puppy is a special way of giving back. Because I know how much she's helped me, I know how hard it is to deal with situations when you need extra help. And I had so much fun training him and he helped me so much. There's a lot of people that are waiting for to get into the Watch My Six program that may not be able to get dogs. So <laughs> training the puppy and donating, donating it um, to a forever home, it's kind of our way of giving back. It's my way of giving back. And he's cute and we're a sucker, so. <laughs> and I just love being around dogs. Yeah, dogs and calm us. You know what, learning all the tricks, tricks of the trade and you know, helping us even with our own dogs at home has made a big difference on how we raise our dogs and our kids are even taking in the... They help train too. Yeah. Charles and Shannon talk about what the day will be like when it's time to give puppy Aries to another family. It's always going to be difficult because he, he's with you for so, you know, for a short period of time, but you get attached to them, and uh, it'll be difficult, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it in the long run. I'd say it'd be bittersweet. It's gonna be a lot of tears in my house. Yeah, me, my daughter. daughter. Yeah, it's gonna be bittersweet, but knowing how much he's helped me, and knowing how much Aries this, is gonna help somebody else, it makes it all worthwhile. It makes it worth it. It's all. I I know when. The watch my six picks a family. They're getting a. It's going to be a well worthy, worthy family. Follow your TV and watch my six service dogs as we follow two pups, their foster families, and learn why they are giving back to the military community.